So welcome to the Above Average Podcast presented by Marshall Fitness. Uh, I'm Mark. This is Will. Uh, he is the founder of Marshall Fitness. And as you know, this podcast is presented by Marshall Fitness. So as we go through and have more and more episodes, we'll kind of explain a little bit about what Marshall Fitness is. Um, but for now, we're just going to keep it to kind of the, the topics that we had chosen. And then we won't bore you with the Marshall Fitness stuff until a little bit later. Sorry, Will. <laughs> that's that's later that's fine we'll, <laughs> we'll get into that so the first thing i wanted to talk about and it seems to be a popular topic especially on social media is this new dad bod trend that women are saying uh guys are sexier when they have dad bods now when we met i would say i had a dad bod i agree right definitely have a dad bod. Um, and we're not there yet i mean i still got some lbs to lose but um i think we're on the the trend to non-dad bod um, but what are your thoughts on, on the topic in general? <laughs> well, I think it's, it's funny cause this has been around for a long time now. And there was a, there's like a bro science video from years ago talking about this exact thing. It's like, you know, women being attra- more attractive mm. than dad bods. And I don't know if I buy it, to be honest. I think it's, um, I've heard over the years, like you hear different perspectives on it and like you hear girls talk about it, you hear guys talk about it. And, and one of the big things that always seems to come up is like, Girls claim they want to be the best looking one in a relationship. And so if a guy, like they refer to dudes as like medium ugly, like, <laughs> like the medium ugly dudes pull like they do. Yeah. And I guess there's something to that aspect. But then it's also, I feel like maybe, maybe there's something to having a dad bod. There's like a paternal thing. To it. Like you have a dad bod. It's like you're comfortable. Well, you're, you're, you're dad. Yeah. You know? And it's like girls want. Bide. like that's I, a biological i think thing. that has more to do with money though than it does it could I, I think i think the dad bod thought or trend is more about the dad being financially secure sure um, well that's a thing absolutely and you know they find comfort in that and they women are less threatened by men that don't have that well no that's i mean that's true is and and that's another um i mean it's it's a big topic you could even get into right there but it's like there's this notion of um, like money. Like, I mean, it's like always like you know, girls like guys, with money. Well, oh, they're so gold diggers or whatever. But at the end of the day, like it's a biological thing. You know, it's like, it goes back to like even years and years and like millions of years ago where like you're talking about like partner selection at that, point. like really hot, like hardwired into biology where it's like women go for men that can provide. Like that's just what it is. And so like having a lot of money means that you've done that. So, but I mean that straying away from dad bods. Now, I think the dad bod thing is bull. We were going like honest. prehistoric for a minute. Oh yeah, no, that's, that's, that's on me. I, I do that. I do that. I, I always have, especially with fitness. Like there is a there's a lot of prehistoric shit that ties into what it, what's going on now. But I don't know. I think the dad bod thing is a cop out. Um, cause it's like I don't know. It just feels it, it feels too comfortable to me. And like I mean, you already kind of said that. But it's, you think it's more of a cop out on the guy or on the male side of things? Yes, but I think they get, they get away with it. You know, it's like, I mean, I wouldn't even be, I mean, if, if, if I was a dude with a dad bod and I heard that girls like dad bods, I'd be stoked because I'm like, I didn't have to yeah. do shit to achieve yeah. this. the work. Yeah, and it's just like, all right, and, now, and then people still are into it. It's like, I, I mean, I'm on the opposite side of that where like I've, and you know, I've never had a dad bod. I mean, I was skinny fat in high school before I started lifting, but like now I'm like, you know, I've gone through, I've been shredded with 8% body fat and I've, you know, been heavier because I bulked or whatever. And now I'm, I've always been, now I've been muscular for six or seven years or whatever. Mm. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> it's, I mean, it's, it's a part of my life. Like I've, I've centered, I've built my whole life around lifting, like being able to lift, like literally like running an online business. It allows me to make fitness a priority still. And and I know other people that, that work out have frustrations with the dad bod thing too, because it's like you put in all this work to, and it's not all about mm-hmm. like, I mean, I think a lot of people that work out strictly for visual purposes, and it, there's nothing necessarily wrong with it, but I think it can get difficult because you're just, you're looking for gratification from something that isn't really going to, it takes a lot to do, you know, it's hard to change your body. Like you can't do, you can never change your body the way that you want to. Like it's never going to be perfect. And that's mm. a thing that I think even with my clients, I have to kind of make that point because 
at the end of the day, like genetics are genetics. Like mm. for example, like my abs, like my left side has always shown more than my right. Mm. And I've been down, like I said, eight, eight and a half percent body fat, but I still don't have like that fully defined six pack. I'd have to probably go lower, but I'm still only going to get more on the left side than the right side. And that's just a genetic thing. So my abs have shown 0% for the last 33 years. So now they are though. <laughs> they're, they're getting there. Now I can see the so, outline. Yeah. I can see the outline. Yeah. And so, but that's the thing. It's like you, you can try to, there's certain things about your body. You're just never gonna be able to change. Like, I mean, in terms of like got wide hips, like as a woman, like you're not gonna be able to shrink your hips. Mm. Can't spot train. All them burden hips. Right. I mean, that's just, it just, it, I mean, going back to biology, yeah. you know, it's the same <laughs> thing. And so it's like you, only, you only have so much control over what your body, you, you control like the muscle you gain, the fat you lose, but other things, I mean, it's really hard to really control that kind of stuff. And, um, you know, you just have to be willing to, uh, I don't know, you just have to know that and accept that and just kind of work with it and be okay with the body that you're in, essentially. So why do we think that, why do you think, I should say, uh, men get into shape in the first place? Is it more to lose that dad bod? I know we were talking a little bit about that, but, or is it more health benefit perspective? Or do you think there's like an age, and do you think there's an age delineation between the two? Maybe younger um, males or men tend to lose weight for the cosmetic appearance and then older try to lose it for the health appearance. Because I know for me specifically, I guess I'm calling myself old here, um, but you know, I'm 33 and I got into it because I wanted to be able to hang out with my kids without feeling like I was dying, um, or being able to tie my shoes without being out of breath. That's what was most important. Um, and the fact that I look better is a bonus. Yeah. Do you find that that's no, the same? well, I think that's the perspective that you need to have because that is a, that's like a real concrete thing. That's never going to go away. You know, it's like, you're going to always want that. And that's a lifelong thing that's going to be able to maintain itself, you know. And, um, you know, one of the big reasons for me that I, you know, there, I think there's a lot of reasons that you could want to get fit. You know, it's health, maybe it's looks, like confidence, feeling better, you know, having more energy, all that different stuff. But I think everyone has one that picks them off and then it becomes about other things, you know. And there's a, there's a lot of TikToks now. And I, I, re I literally just saw one today and it was, it was this TikTok and it was just like, Dudes go through a breakup and hit the gym as if that's going to make up for their shit personality. <laughs> and that's true. You know, like there is definitely something. I mean, that's a that's a common theme on TikTok now where it's like, you know, 100 percent dudes go through a breakup, hit the gym. And it's like, you know, that revenge body type thing, which sure, that's great. That's great to get you in there, but that's probably not going to last you. Right. It's not a sustainable reason to yeah. continue to work out. And so then you find other reasons, you know, and so. For example, for me in particular, it's like I started really getting serious when I was in college playing soccer because I had to get my body fat under 10% because that was just a performance thing. Mm -hmm. Having body fat over 10% as a soccer player, especially at the highest level in the ACC and Division One, it's like you're, there's so much extra performance in there that you're just limiting because you're, you have a higher body fat. And it has nothing to do with looks. It's literally just performance. And then so once I saw that I could get myself from 14% down to 8% and really saw that I was like, holy shit, I can actually get shredded. I can change the way that I look. Then it was like, okay, this is dope. You know, I look sick. I got way stronger. But is that, am I going to be able to maintain 8.5% body fat forever? Probably not. That's going to be super hard. And so now, I mean, I don't know what my body fat percent is. I'm probably somewhere between 10 and 12. And I'm like, I'm cool with it. Usually once I head towards the summer, I start to like – slim down a little bit more just because I never wear a shirt in the summer. It's like, why would I? I think, I think right now it's a requirement. I, absolutely. I mean, I mean, after I'm down 30 pounds and I, I already, I've already told my wife, sorry, ladies, I'm taking, um, that as soon as the weather breaks and it's over 70, there's no, in, in well, when I'm outside, it feels so much better anyway. I mean, it's like your the ability to be able to do that is something that you can almost take it for granted. Like once you're, but like I was saying, it's like I got, you know, shredded and then I was, I started thinking about it and I started thinking about all the different aspects that play into being fit and being healthy. It's like, you know, one of the examples that I use all the time and I, I tell my clients, this, it's like my, my grandparents spent a ton of time in nursing homes and hospitals and they were just in and out. 
And I didn't really think about this until much later, but I don't want to do that shit, you know, like, and I don't want that for anybody else. I don't think, I think the way that we approach health and fitness and just like being able to continue to, I think there's a weird amount of acceptance for like, okay, I'm just getting old and that's it. But it's just like, I, this is what's meant to happen. I'm not meant to continue able to run around when i'm 70 yeah but it goes back to that old adage of body in motion stays in motion kind of deal and as you stop moving and you stop and you let that go then yeah you are going to inherently start to decay yeah yeah i mean it's there's there's you can even see it's like when you get older your bone density is the over time your bone density becomes less you know and that's just a fact but lifting has been shown to reverse that. And you can actually make your bones stronger from resistance training. And you see this from old, like old people that start lifting at 70. Like they can literally reverse their bone density as they continue to age. And so that right there is the, the point. The only point you need. It's like you are not, like you're not stuck aging and then that's it. Like you are in control of your body. To an extent. Now, of course, there, are there extenuating, extenuating circumstances? Absolutely. I mean, you can have, you know, some kind of ease that prevents you right. from, from doing that to, you know, the, maybe the level that you want. But like we're you talking said, about generally healthy people yeah, that, are, yeah, that, I mean, can, that can improve their bodies. Yeah. Now, outside of and extenuating circumstances such as some sort of medical diagnosis, which we're not qualified to give. Yeah, definitely, definitely, not, um, definitely not. You know, the, generally is what we're referencing in terms of what you can do. To yeah, and it's, like I was saying, there's, there's a weird kind of acceptance, and I think it's, it's changing, but I think for the generations that, above me and above yours even, where the, Health and fitness wasn't even thought about. Like it, and, I don't, and I don't think it's anyone's fault. Like, I mean, my, I talk about my grandparents being in the nursing home. It's not their fault because it just wasn't a thing. Like, that wasn't what you did. Like, you know, you grinded your ass off in the mill for 50 years. And it's like, I'm going to take a break. I get that. Walking like, into a restaurant, people were smoking. Yeah. I mean, like, it was a different. That was a thing for me when I was a kid. You yeah, know, it was you a go different to, time. You go to, I still sometimes go to the local restaurant and I'm like, waiting for them to ask me, smoking or non-smoking. Yeah. You know, and, you know, my mom was a smoker growing up and. We had, I sat in that section, eight. So, yeah, to your point, it's generational. Yeah, I remember those days. Like, I yeah. remember it was, uh, you know, right up on uh, up here, like in uh, one of the restaurants we used to go to all the time. And like, I, mean, I don't want to in North for sales, yeah. which you know, I don't I mean, want. I, I, <laughs> I remember what I was referencing actually too. <laughs> Drews, I was thinking Eaton Park. Sorry. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. But no, uh, Drews. Like I remember they had. I mean, it was you could smoke in the bar. Oh yeah. And then it was like. I mean, we were going there as kids, and it's like you walk into the bar, and Big it's cloud. straight smoke. Okay. And it's funny because now, like, I smell that, and I associate that with, like, being young. Me too. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. It's so Same. weird. Yeah. And, like, that's insane because, like, that's not good. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then over time, you see, like, they put up, like, the glass, and then it was, like, a door, and then it's, like, now it's separate. And then it was completely, like, nope, none Can't at do all. It. Yeah. yeah. And it's a good thing. Yeah. Definitely a good thing. But Sorry, smokers. Yeah, I mean, it, I mean, should, if you're smoking, you're probably not watching. You should maybe you are. Yeah, stop fucking smoking. Is what it is. I mean, there's just no. I don't think there's an excuse for that anymore. To, That's a whole episode in and of itself. Definitely episode, a I whole think. other episode. Unhealthy but. habits. I think. Um, let us know if that's something you want to see um, in the comments below or email, what have you. Um, <clears throat> so, I think you know we talked a little bit about. Um, you, you dabbled in a little bit in a TikTok. I think it's something that we need to get into some of these social media trends. Yeah. Um, you know, there's one in particular that's out there. I think a lot of you guys have seen around women making men look like creeps and kind of shift gears for a minute. And I think it's something that needs addressed and, and talked about, but, um, I'll just go through a personal experience I had just two days ago. Um, and you know, I talked a little bit about it, but you know, there's a woman um, trying to set up the bar to do, they call them hip thrusts. That's what I call them. Yeah. Barbell. Um, and she's trying to put a 45 pound blade on the, on the bar and she's struggling. She's like, the bar is moving all over the place. And I could have easily gone over there and just lifted it up and, and helped her with the other side. Not that she wasn't strong enough or anything, but it's just awkward. Right. Yeah. Um, I see a lot of women try to do them off Smith machines, makes it a lot easier, but she was just doing barbell on the ground, rolling it up on her. So there wasn't a lot of that. Um, and I could have helped her, but in my mind, I'm like, I'm not going to be the next viral video of me going over and trying to help this woman 
and her go ew or something like that yeah so like just wanted to kind of get your thoughts on it i know it was something that i like thought of and i didn't go help her for that reason yeah um i don't know if she's recording or doing something else um and uh so i I didn't go help her so what what do you think about i how do you react i guess i think uh i mean i get it like i i get the notion of not wanting to go i don't know if i would have done it either and it's it seems i mean it's very new now like i mean and the thing is is dudes are creeps like there's no way around that i know plenty of girls first like that i actually know that have had issues that have been recorded in gyms like i know a girl very well um she was recorded by somebody in a and everyone in the gym like like it was known in it wasn't just like she noticed like she noticed it but then other people were noticing it too and then it became a whole thing like they're like getting staff involved and everything like that like that's a that's a problem yeah absolutely and so i mean i can understand the notion that like maybe women are fed up with that kind of thing happening and rightfully so For like sure. that should not happen but and you get guys in the gym that are all hopped up tossed up, testosterone's moving around and yeah um and this is the reason that there's female only gyms now yeah when it's like to avoid number one the intimidation of just a bunch of meatheads that, you know by the dumbbells like sure like and i think there's there is something to that and the people that you know are those type of people where they're like trying to intimidate people like they're there for they're not there for the right reason but like those people have other shit going on like i don't know what happened to yeah. them but yeah. Most, I think most people are very welcoming to other people in the gym, especially new people and especially people like the vets that have been in the gym. I mean, I would consider myself, I mean, it's, I've been lifting for eight years. Like I, and again, like I've been in the gym and and not even women in particular, but I've been in the gym and I've seen people that are like new and they're like, you know, you can tell that they're unsure of themselves, like what to do and what the etiquette is and all that different stuff. And I mean, I'm. I'm always hesitant to offer advice, you know, even being a personal sure, trainer, yeah. you know, because it's like, you know, people want to figure shit out for themselves and that's fine, you know, but you come ask or whatever. Yeah. I mean, I would, I mean, if someone asked me for advice in the gym, I'd be stoked. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you see me as the, as the vet, like yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. But, um, in terms of just like, you know, you see a girl struggling with weights. I, I really feel like it probably has to be they probably have to seek out the help. And then if, if someone asks you, then help them. Yeah, absolutely. But to, I, I really think it's all about reading the situation. And, and again, this, these TikTok trends have made, it, have made it difficult, especially, I mean, it, like you said, you've seen them, but you know what the worst case scenario is. And now people are calling that out. Like, I mean, we're literally calling it out right now. Um, and some people are getting praise for calling it out. Yeah. Um, and I'm seeing some people getting bashed yeah. for calling it out. Um, and it's not to say that women shouldn't have a safe space to work out or all those kind of things, um, or that women aren't can't handle themselves in the gym. But I guess the 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 bigger issue is those women that are legitimately making a big deal when somebody was just trying to help them. Yeah, and I think it's a them thing. Like it's a that's I think that's on an individual basis. You know, sure, like it, it's absolutely. not. It's definitely not women as a whole. Like I think, you know, it's almost like a you know, trying to make someone look bad. And like, I just saw a video the other day. It was, it was that guy, Joey Swole. Have you seen him? Yeah. He has like the, he has the trucker hat on. Yeah, and like yeah, he yeah. all, he's the one, like people tag him and stuff like that. And he says his opinion. He's like, he's sitting in a car, I think. Yeah, he's yeah, generally, yeah. he like, I mean, I've never seen a video where he's not spot on. And it's- He's actually the one I see get blasted. He got both. He did, yeah, and he blasted. did. And it was, there was one for, um, what was it? It was some, it was a video. Well, there's the one that's like really popular right now. This because this girl got she got kicked out of the gym because she's like she's doing something and you can see the guy in the back like watching her and he's an employee and then she's like looking at the mirror talking to him like oh you have something to say oh that's what I thought and he's just like what are you talking about like he's not even doing anything like he just happened to be looking at her and you know you can't expect people to not look at you. I mean, so I guess that, that leads me down the different path. So as you're, as you were talking through that, like I'm thinking about, I'm on a treadmill, right? Yeah. And you know, most of the commercial gyms, there's like a couple rows of treadmills and I'm doing all I can, whether I'm working out or running on a treadmill or what have you, I'm doing all I can to like, just, you know what I mean? Like (laughs) try to figure out somewhere else to look. So nobody misinterprets, like there's 
there's other guys there with their girlfriends and like I'm trying not to like get hit with a barbell because this guy thinks I'm looking at his girlfriend. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm trying to do everything I can to not look. Yeah. And then, but at the flip side is, is, you know, if I were to walk into a commercial gym specifically, not a private gym, but a commercial gym specifically with my shirt off, nobody wants to see that. But <laughs> if I were to walk in or you were to walk in with your shirt off, everybody wants to see that. Um, we would be thrown out. Yeah. And I'm not saying that women are showing up in their, with their shirts off, but they're wearing little to nothing in yeah. some of these gyms. There are those instances, yeah. And I, I don't know what you would expect yeah. out of some guys than to look. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, there is that aspect to it. And I think I feel like you almost have to assume that people are going to look at you no matter what i mean it, it, even like you said like if i if i show up in a if i if i wasn't wearing a shirt like that is a that is a spectacle you know and but again I, whether I, good or bad yeah good or bad and and i think still i mean you can do whatever you, you can do whatever you want you know like i mean i'm not i don't think even saying that you know girls rolling up and wearing like going to a gym and working out in a sports bra like that it still doesn't justify anything negative happening like you're not you sh you're not inviting yeah right, right something wrong to happen mm -hmm. i mean you can still you know do what you want to do um it just kind of i think i don't know you just talk about like it, it's like an individual preference yeah it's a yeah it's a preference yeah, and it's, it, just, it's just it's just what it is but people I mean, are gonna look yeah i mean people yeah and that's the thing about a crowded gym. And, and I was thinking about this too, is like, I, I've never approached a girl in a gym. Before. And no. I, I, that's like a hard rule in my approach to gyms. Because that like, should be a safe space. And you yeah. don't want to make it awkward for somebody to not want to get their health right. No, and there's like, I've had, I have, a, I have friends, like I have one friend in particular that goes to a in the South Side. And like, he's asked me before. We're going to um, bleep that name of that gym. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, um, he asked me once, like, he's like, yeah, dude, I go to the gym all the time, and I see this girl all the time, and, like, attractive, and, like, I want to talk to her, but I don't know how to do it. And I'm like, dude, I don't know what to tell you, because there's no way to really do it where it's like... You don't seem like a creep. Well, you don't want to seem like a creep, but then it's also like if, if it doesn't go well for you, and this person's there all the time now, yeah. now you got to pick a different time to go to the gym. You find it, or a different, find a different or gym. Or go to a different gym, yeah. yeah. And, and I don't know. I mean, there's times when you know, like, it's on. You know, like, you might see somebody a bunch of different times, and it's like, and, and who knows? You never know when someone's thinking the same thing. And this is just, I mean, this is, this goes beyond just the gym, but just, like, you know, meeting girls in general out. It's like, mm -hmm. you know when someone wants to talk to you. I mean, you might end up, you know, working out next to each other, whatever. And then if you spark conversation, then yeah, go for it. Chemistry. You know, yeah, but yeah, yeah. just the, just the approach. And then like, there's no good way to do it. And one thing I wouldn't recommend is following them to their car. Definitely don't do that. Oh my God. Yeah. That's a, that's a psycho move. <laughs> I mean, it, 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 good way to get maced. Yeah. Yeah. There's, I think you just, unfortunately, I think you just leave it. And that's, that's the way I've always, I've always felt. It's just like, I'm not going to, I just don't want to ruin the, my own gym experience to, uh, for something that may or may not happen. And I don't know. It's tough. It is tough, but you have to, you know, you got to weigh the, pro, the pros and cons. You know, life is trade-offs. So it's like, do you, you let it rip and then, you know, have to find a new gym after? That's your fault. Yeah, for sure. So um, speaking of unfortunate things uh, on social media, we've been – Saving this topic to talk about for a long time. Um, and as I was doing research, um, you know, we were talking about starting the podcast um, and I, I was researching some topics, seeing what was popular out there and, and different things. And one of the things I searched on Twitter, hashtag fitness. I'm not gonna throw anything up on the screen uh, except for maybe hashtag fitness. Um, as I, I'm just not going to share an example, you all can check it for yourself. Uh, I'm not trying to get a strike yeah. on any social media platform it's, it, or, or burn somebody's eyes. If you want to see what it is, check it out for yourself. Um, but then I quickly texted you 
said, hey, just check out hashtag fitness for me. Um, and what we were able to uncover was a whole dark side to Twitter that I don't ever want to see again. Um, but if, you're, if you want to know more about hashtag fitness or fitness in general on Twitter, is, it was, is interesting. It was hashtag and just regular fitness. Yeah. yeah. Um, so just wanted to get what your first impression was of hashtag fitness. Um, but uh, was, snakes on a plane came to mind. <laughs> it's listen. I, I don't even. I don't want to even. It's it's not safe for work. Put it that way. <laughs> Be careful when you search it. Be in an environment where people aren't going to see your phone. If you decide to do this, because it's it's. It's, uh, it's not like you can't even, yeah, I don't know how far I want to go to even describe Just it. Just go it's, for it's, it. It's, it's, it's friggin' wild, first of all. And <sighs> Photoshop, you think? Part of it? Maybe, but maybe not. I mean, and who wears pants like that? We don't even, I mean, that's the thing. It's like, where do you even get those pants? But it's, it's unfortunate, really. Be, and that's, I think it's Twitter, too, because Twitter's kind of like the Wild West anymore. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of dark on Twitter because there's not a lot of rules on Twitter, especially right now because of the way that Twitter's changed with, you know, Elon Musk taking it over and all that stuff. Like, I feel like it's a lot of just, I mean, it's when he took over, I mean, he was all about like the freedom of speech thing right away. I think we took it a little too free though with hashtag fitness. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and, and, but then that's the thing. It's like, how far does it go? And with that, it's well, like, I think about, um, not to interrupt you, but I, I think about TikTok too, like yeah. what it started out as. And then what it became um, is it was some people call it porn talk. Yeah. And, you know, I, I think about, uh, you know, again, we, we, you know, started our YouTube channel um, and been doing a lot of research and different things on that. So YouTube shorts is a big thing. And as you start to look at YouTube shorts, it's just like TikTok in terms of what you see on there now. Um, so like with all these social media, like at what point, when is enough enough in terms of what it's one thing to entertain, entertain people. And it's another thing to get half naked or show inappropriate things just for clicks. Yeah. Well, that's, I don't know how to explain the Twitter hashtag of fitness. Like, I don't know. I mean, I even, like I said, I, I searched it today and I thought, cause initially I searched, you know, when you told me about it, I, I searched hashtag fitness and that was like. I mean, my eyes cracked. I was just like, what, what's going on here? You know? And then today I searched just fitness and I'm like, okay, the first thing is a workout. And I'm like, maybe it was just the hashtag. Yeah. Then I scrolled and I was like, nope, that's not the case here. We're back again. Yeah, And it's and not even like you might find one picture here and there. It just keeps going and going and going. It, it's an endless supply of what I refer to as snakes on a plane. <laughs> it's, a, it's just, it, it's a, it's a, a black hole of, I mean, it's all colors. Shit. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's very diverse. Yeah. <laughs> and why did that hashtag get hijacked? That. And I mean, but there's also instances of where other hashtags. I mean, I mean, we'd have to find them. But I mean, if you go in and look at any any post on Instagram or anywhere, really, I mean, people will post hashtags that aren't related to the content that's they're specifically posting, just so that they show up on those hashtags. And I can't explain Twitter. I, I really can't. And like, I even, I deleted my Twitter a couple of years ago. I used to have a, a Twitter account with like over a thousand followers when it was like, when that was Instagram. The thing. Yeah. Cause it was like, you had Twitter, Twitter was before Instagram. So then everyone had a Twitter. And so then I, I wish I wouldn't have done that because I would have had a good starting point for a Marshall fitness Twitter. Cause I already had a thousand followers. Yeah. And now I have a Twitter account again. I don't really use it. And I have like maybe 20 followers cause I really don't tweet, right. you know, and it's something that I should kind of, you know, it's just another platform to get martial fitness out there, but it's so, uh, yeah, it's just, there's just no, I don't know what the regulation is or anything like that. And it's, it feels like there's not anything. It's, it's, it was crazy. Yeah. Like it was, there are things you just can't unsee. No. And what's the, like, what's the goal? I don't know. Like what kind of response are you? I mean, I feel like there's, you hoping to find love? There's probably people that do. No, not going to lie. I just learned what NSFW was. Really? You kept saying not safe. You just figured it out right now. I just connected the fucking. Really? You just connected. You didn't know. I just. <laughs> just <laughs> I didn't know what it meant for a long time. I don't know if I'm showing my age, but like, yeah, just connected the dots. I just. I mean, that's not. It's not even a term that I've used a lot, but I feel like 
I like, see it all the time. But it's like what we're talking about. Like it's it's one of those things, you know. You <laughs> gotta you gotta know what you're getting into. I think we hit everything we wanted to talk about today. Um, so uh, with that, appreciate everybody stopping by and uh, checking us out. This is going to be the first podcast of hopefully many, um, and we'll be posting these on all the different podcast platforms and on YouTube. So check us out there. Um, but also make sure that you go check out Marshall Fitness. It, the website's marshallfitnesstraining.com. Uh, I didn't butcher, butcher that, did I? But, uh, if you're interested in any types of, I'll, actually, we'll let you talk about it a little bit. What Marshall, what's available to folks on Marshall? Yeah, Fitness. so I mean, Marshall Fitness is an online training platform. Um, you know, I provide custom training programs and nutrition guidance and education. Um, to help. We'll do a, a full episode uh, that yeah. will at least contribute in part to what Marshall Fitness is in yeah. detail. I mean, we can really break that down. I mean, that's a, a whole episode in itself. But uh, yeah, I mean, Marshall Fitness goes beyond YouTube. Um, it's, YouTube is a newer thing in the, in the it, newer arm in the sense of Marshall Fitness. I mean, Marshall Fitness has been around since 2020 um, in the sense of online training. And, you know, I've trained clients from, you know, we're Pittsburgh based. I've trained clients in, in Canada and California and New York. Um, I was a client. Mark was a client. Yes. And, and it, it, you know, it's, uh, that's the thing about the, that's the beauty of the online thing is you can, I can help people and the, the distance doesn't matter. Like I've had a client, in, uh, Massachusetts for a long time now. She's done very, very well. And like, so the distance doesn't matter. And, and that's, like I said, the beauty of the online training aspect and so this is meant to kind of supplement all that i do with martial fitness and and kind of provide another platform and, and more education just from another um another form of medium and so now we got these mics and i hope my audio is clear i was you know for the cost of these things it better make me sound like i can describe a sunset to a blind person <laughs> but you know it's like give me make me sound good um <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. Uh, drop any comments below that of topics you want to see us cover on the podcast. Um, make sure you check out our uh, few videos that we have around workouts and different nutrition aspects. There will be one just at the end of this video that you can go check out. And really the biggest way to help us is through subscribing. That helps the channel. It's going to help us grow, help us bring more content to you all, um, and uh, keep supporting us on throughout. Um, if you want to know some more information around martial fitness or you're interested in getting personal training or different things and getting in contact with Will around that, uh, check out martialfitnesstraining.com. We'll catch you guys on the next one.